And as we said, a big trouble spot today, Leon Creek, a flood warning is in effect there. Now this creek is expected to rise to the highest level since 1991, and the rain has halted a construction project there, at least for now. You're looking at video that we actually were showing you earlier today. It shows uh, this was a, a container that disconnected from its drainage pipes. The water filled in a hole in that geyser that you're seeing. Well, that was the end result once that equipment went into the hole. Yeah, so we talked to the San Antonio water system. They tell us they have a sewer project nearby, but construction has not started. So the water we see here is all flood water, even what's shooting up. This is not a sewer spillage. I don't think it's shooting up any longer, but that area is still inundated with flood waters. And there are so many concerns for those who live near that swelling creek, at least by I-35. Over by Highway 90, things looking different than what we saw this morning. Our Jesse DeGriotto has been following the rise of water and anxiety levels along Leon Creek. Jesse, some homeowners just hoping things don't get worse out there. I tell you what, uh, I tell you what, Stephen Ursula, I heard that more than once from residents here in this neighborhood and also on the other side of the creek. Now, mind you, we wouldn't be standing here. We couldn't have been standing here earlier today because at that point, right around noon, I'm told, the, uh, the, the creek actually crested right around noon. So now the water level has dropped to the relief, I'm sure, of a lot of homeowners right now because, because again, they were fearing the worst given the earlier predictions. Now, mind you, I'm on the west side of the creek right now, but a father and son on the east side of the creek, who I spoke to earlier, said that they'd never seen Leon Creek flowing this this high or flowing this fast. They said that they were certainly concerned when the rain just kept coming and coming harder and harder and relieved when it finally stopped, even though when we spoke, we were about 15 to 20 feet or so above the creek. Pretty sure it's going to get worse, and I hope it doesn't. And I'll uh, keep uh, praying that it doesn't get any worse than this. No, yes. Keep our fingers crossed. Yes. Well, although they didn't think the creek would overflow and flood their neighborhood, and thank goodness apparently it didn't, Reba says he still may consider buying flood insurance in the near future just in case. Now, coming up, we'll hear from a homeowner on the other side of the creek who, see, who says that it seems to her, that at least, that the banks or the channel of the creek seems to have widened so that it wouldn't run quite as deeply. So we'll hear, from more, we'll hear more about her coming up at 6. We're live here on uh, Leon Creek on the west, southwest side. Jesse DeGoyado, KSAT 12 News.